Uh, thank you very much. It's a real pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm the president and uh, CEO. So this is a patient of mine. And this patient has no treatment with dry age-related macular degeneration. And I can see when I look in their eyes that they are going blind. And the reason is, is that in ophthalmology, we rely on images. And this is true for some of the greatest healthcare challenges that we face. Dementia, many solid tumors, blindness, all rely on image-based biomarkers. And this is obviously because uh, biopsy is not possible. So we all know that drug development costs billions of dollars and takes decades with trillions of dollars spent on undertreated and untreated patients. Biomarkers improve that success, but what you might not know is that biomarkers can also take decades to develop. So the real challenge, and this really is our goal, is precision drug development. And this means putting the right patient into the right clinical trial, targeting the right molecular pathway with the right chemistry. But this is especially hard when the biomarkers are image-based. So just to point out, I'm listed it as an opportunity, but this is just so important. Biomarkers are, mar are measures of disease, of health, of treatment efficacy, and of safety. They drive clinical decision making with the promise of personalized medicine. They drive clinical trial design, telling us who to enroll, who to exclude, and who to measure, and so drive precision drug development. And now with the addition of artificial intelligence and advanced computing to image-based biomarkers, they're driving the the uh, alignment of what doctors see and what the machines see. They're driving the equitable dis uh, distribution of the software around the globe, and they're driving transparency in what the I AI black box sees. So Tracery is a biomarker-driven, AI-powered technology stack for precision drug development. And we have three core technologies. The first one is our own ophthalmic imaging method. The second one are, is our own toolkit of biomarkers. And the third uh, is our advanced uh, computing for software as a medical device. So I'll show you these, each of these. So this is a patient with late um, dry AMD, a patch of atrophy, and there you can see the, the black region using fundus autofluorescence. When you use our imaging, you can see more disease, new features, new phenotypes, and we suggest this is the first functional imaging uh, permitting a, a detection of vulnerable tissue before it dies away. This is a patient, one of our image-based biomarkers, where we know a risk factor, which is a large, soft, fuzzy drusen. And these are hard to detect, certainly hard to quantify. And with our imaging, we make them very quantifiable. Here's a, a, an unknown uh, image-based biomarker. We've discovered that some of our patients, the imaging is identical with FAF. But for others, there's this difference or this delta. And th this, we, we've discovered, it applies to both eyes. It applies over time. And so now we've got new risk factors that we can evaluate. In a single slide, this is our AI. It's, we focus on cross and multimodal analytics, adding ours to the known, known uh, methods. We have our own dedicated convolutional neural networks. And most importantly is we make efficient use of small data sets by training them with simulations. And ultimately, we build classifiers of patients and predictors. So our small team has hit multiple milestones, in, including pre-registered databases, processes, unique data sets, our, our imaging, and we're, we've initiated our technical and biological validation, and we've got intellectual property to protect it all. And we've done all of this with non-dilutive funding, including an Ontario Centers of Excellence Award, and first place globally with Johnson & Johnson for AI and drug development. So we're currently seeking, I put here two, we'd love 20, uh, to take us from technology readiness level six to technology re readiness uh, seven. And this really is to expand and iteratively improve through key partnerships. So this is, these are the experts we're bringing together, and I do want to bring your attention to two people in particular, one Dr. Ali Khan, who is an expert in AI and imaging, and Dr. Nahid Kurji, and he's an expert, he and Cyclica, in, in silico drug design, so no longer uh, synthesizing trillions of molecules, they're designing them. So, tracery vertically harnesses and horizontally integrates AI, providing tools and services for precision drug development. And our value proposition is that by centralizing and distributing this through the cloud, we can do it in two years rather than 10. And I think the cost of not doing this is immeasurable. Thank you. <laughs>